Here's Stanley Roberts, who found some people behaving badly. While steel wool is great for cleaning pots and pans, using them to clean parts of your vehicle might cause some problems. This food truck was spotted rolling along Interstate 880. However, take a look at the license plate. Do you see anything wrong? If you said the license plate is hard to read, you are correct. Okay, driver, keep going until you see a large shoulder or we're going to take the next exit. So the driver gets to have a chat with Officer Swartz of the Castro Valley Office of the California Highway right. Patrol. Is this open? It turns out the plate was sprayed with 409 cleaner and scrubbed with these pads. It even looks like you took a Sharpie and tried to color in the letters. This pickup truck in unincorporated San Leandro has a similar problem. The reason why I'm pulling you over is the reflectorized portion of your rear license plate. Looks like it's been sanded off. Did you do that yourself? However, upon closer inspection, it appears that some kind of coating was applied, which damaged the reflective coat. And when asked who applied the coating? I don't know. You don't know? Unless okay. kids walk around and spray things. Okay. I don't, no, well, the I problem don't is, uh, the thing that's popular nowadays is people spraying their license plates with something that makes it so it's not reflective in order to no longer get red light tickets and uh, to evade toll violations. While Officer Swartz is dealing with the license plate, let me show you something else. This is a sanded license plate. People are now sanding off the reflective coating to defeat enforcement cameras. And yes, you can be stopped and ticketed for that. Another thing that you can be stopped and ticketed for. Hi, good afternoon, sir. The reason why I'm pulling you over is you have that clear cover over your rear license plate. Yes. Is there any reason why you have that there? Uh, no, I thought it kind of looked cool, okay. but I didn't realize okay. it, it's it illegal. In California, you can't have any covering over the, the license plate. Do you have your driver's license on you? But the worst offender was this driver with paper plates. Not only is she missing her plates. No ID at all? Do you have any kind of registration paperwork? In fact, the vehicle was listed as inoperative. So... The registration hasn't been paid since 2011, so I am going to tow your car. Riding with the Castro Valley Office of the California Highway Patrol, Stanley Roberts, Cron 4 News.